Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part four of my Rook build. We're gonna talk about the Rookery toolhead. But first, this video is actually sponsored by me. Welcome to my new merch store. I have some pretty cool stuff here. We have some mugs. We have one here with the Rook logo. We have one with the Rolohan 3D logo. I have my meme from Discord in my videos, my Rolohan spaghetti wiring, because my wiring is always exceptional. We have some Rook MK1 mugs, some kind of a blueprint black and white style Rook mug. We have a panda mug, and we have some t-shirts. Simple t-shirt here with just the Rook logo here. We have some with the Rook CAD picture on the back. Again, same with this one here with a Rook black and white blueprint style on the back. And then we have some just normal Rook t-shirts. If you want to support the channel, definitely check out my merch page. All the proceeds from this go right back into the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks everyone. Okay. So we're going to be actually talking about the Rookery boating tool head here on this. Um, I've done a little bit of building in a previous stream. It's taken me a little bit of time to get back to this build. Um, life gets in the way kind of stuff. So all I've really done is I've assembled the bed. I've added my kind of thumb screws here for leveling. I have put my Z end stop here at the bottom. It just goes in the back corner here with our end stop. So that's kind of all I've done since the part three video. So we're gonna talk about the components of the Rookery and kind of how to assemble them. There's three components to the Rookery tool head. We have our carriage here, which very simplistic part, the belt's attached to it, and it goes on the um, MGN9C rail here, and it has a kind of a little protrusion here so that we can put our Rookery tool head on. Next, we have the key. Now, this is very important that you get the right key for your build. If you are using a Fabrico kit like this, or you're using a CR10 hot end, you're actually going to be using the key that is on the printables for the Rook MK1. This has the correct height for a CR10 hot end. So again, Fabrico kits, or if you're buying um, parts from the bill of materials and you're using a CR10 hot end, you want the key that's on the Rook MK1 printables. It will say key for CR10. Other kits, you might have a slightly different key that raises or lowers the nozzle or the hot end. So just make sure that you're getting the correct key. They will be labeled, generally labeled for the hot end that you're using or the kit that you're gonna be using. So we have our key here. The hot end attaches with M3 by 16 onto the key. The key has three heat sets here. And then there's two heat sets on the top to actually secure the rookery um, fan cooling part to this. So I have made a small revision to the rookery and this revision is kind of the default on the Rook MK1 files. I have actually made the intakes slightly oval and bigger so they can clear just slight variations with fans. Some 4010 fans, the blades stick out ever so slightly and it was scraping on the intake. So I have fixed that and that is on the Rook MK1 files on printables. When you're inserting your 4010 fans into the Rookery, there are some holes for the wires to come through so they come through nice and neatly in the back. So we can see here that the rookery basically slides onto the back like so. It is slotted and it fits in there nicely and you can put your M3 by six screws to hold that on. All right, so we have our hot end and key attached to our carriage nice and securely with our M3 bolt here at the very bottom. So that's nice and secure. So for the rookery, for the 3010 fan at the front, what I like to do is I like to insert some M312 bolts in the back and just thread them into plastic so you get a nice clean front look. 
You can do what the manual says and put the bolts in from the front and then put some bolts in the back, totally your choice. I like the nice clean front look there. So I insert them from the back and just thread them into the plastic. What we want to do next is we want to attach the Bowden tube to the hot end. It's just easier to get access with the Rookery um, off. So we'll insert our Bowden tube here. We'll cut it to length if necessary. Make sure it's inserted nice and all the way. We'll put our retaining clip in there so it's nice and secure. We're going to go ahead and kind of get our wires out of the way a little bit so that the tube can slide all the way in. Or it'll clear the tube. All right, we have that slid on there. We'll put our M3 bolts in the back to secure that. These are M3 by six. And there we have it. We have our rookie tool head assembled and installed on the carriage. We have used the correct key. We can see that the nozzle here, it's obviously hard for you to see, but the nozzle does come down low enough where the fan ducts do not hit the bed. That clears all nice. So again, just a tip there, make sure you're using the correct key. And I'm probably gonna leave the video here just like that. Thanks again everyone for watching. If you want to support the channel, feel free to go over onto Patreon and support me there, as well as buy some merch. I'll have my website in the description below. Thanks again everyone.